What's up guys and welcome to episode 4 of the Build to Glory. As you all know, this episode is going to be about our squad builder for the weekend league. Uh, I know this is a different setup, usually I have the face cam, the big face cam on. But uh, I'm just trying th new things. Uh, so we're going to go straight into the squad builder. So I hope you enjoyed this video first of all. Uh, I want to thank all of you who have been liking the videos, watching the videos. Um, our subscriptions have been going up and up and up. So I thank you for that. But let's get it started. So... First of all, uh, for this formation to work, for this squad to work, uh, for chemistry, we need to go to the 4-5-1. Now, this formation is really good for hybrids because the left mid is right next to the left back. So, if you get perfect link or strong link here, they set. they both on 10 cams so with the right mid and right back. But So, let's get started. So, for goalkeeper, we got the main man, Kelo Navas. Champions League winner with Real Madrid four times. He's insane. This year, you don't really need tall keepers. The most important stats are diving and reflexes. Position is also really important. But Kelo Navas, I've already played with this team. And as you can see, 24 games. He's really good. He's really good. He's got a glove cam style. So as you can see, uh, he gets a boost. Of course, now he doesn't because the team is not set. But yeah, let's continue. For right back, we have, in my opinion, the second best right back in the game. Ricardo Pereira. For me, the first right back, the, the best right back in the game right now, is still Malqui. Uh, on my road to Korea, I've got Malqui, but here I got Ricard Pereira, of course, because of chemistry reasons, but he's amazing. He's an amazing player, as you'll see uh, by his stats. He's amazing. He's got really nice acceleration. He's got really good defending stats, really good physicals. The 88 Simon that comes in clutch at the end of the game because I like to do a high pressing. My, my play style is high pressing, so it's really important. He's got amazing uh, passing stats. Even his shooting is not bad. But yeah, it's, it's just an amazing card all around. Three star skill moves, four star weak foot. It's really important when you want to do those uh, passes around the defense or to the other side of the pitch. So it's really nice. But yeah. Next, we have the main man, the one sword, Thiago Silva. I can't tell you enough. I, I can't say it enough. This card is just unbelievable. I shadowed him. 2 star skill move, 3 star weak foot. You don't notice the pace. As you can see, well, not now, but I'll show you at the end. He gets a 10 plus boost in acceleration and sprint speed, which means he'll end up being a 69 pace. So basically 70 pace center back, which is really, really good. But yeah, as you can see again, passing is really good. 80 shorter passing and 80 long passing, really nice. Even his shot power is good. Um, his dribbling is nice. I wish he had better agility and balance, but because of his 86 composure, it really helps him in defense. He's composed, he knows what he's doing, he just tackles the ball, he's amazing, it's perfect. I've already played with him, as I said, and it's beautiful. Uh, physical, once again, really nice. Defending, really nice. But to, partner, sorry, to, pick, to make a partnership with him, we got main man Marquinhos. Now, this card is amazing. For only 8k, you can get this card, which has 72 pace, 87 defending, 78 physical, 71 dribbling, and 73 passing. We got a, a shadow on him, so of course, again, it gives him 10 plus overall in pay, uh, 10 plus boost overall in pace, uh, as well as with defending. As you can see, his stats are unbelievable. Again, similar to Thiago Silva, uh, I would argue even better. Um, he's got better passing, still amazing dribbling stats, a little bit better than Thiago Silva. His physicals are a little better than Thiago Silva in some stat in some parts. But yeah, again, amazing partnership. Marquinhos and uh, Thiago Silva, really nice. I used to have Campbell here, but of course, to complete this team, as you'll see by the end, um, I had to change Campbell, sell Campbell, and get Marquinhos, but. I'm really happy with this triangle here in defense. My overall defense is amazing. Now, for left backs, I could have gone with Mendy from Real Madrid. But I used this card. I packed this card. Not this one in particular, but I packed him. Uh, this one I bought for 41k. And I really enjoyed playing with him. He's a really nice left back. Even though he's not the tallest, not the strongest. He just feels good in-game. He's just amazing card. As you can see, his dribbling is amazing. His pace is amazing 88 pace is brilliant 
I got an anchor so that even help even uh, improves his pace. Um, but yeah, just amazing card. His passing is unbelievable. I think we really need a good, pacey, good at passing uh, left back or and right back, so wing backs. It's really important. The defense is not that important, but I think when it comes to dribbling, passing, and pace, that's what we want from a left back and right back. So Jordi Alba and Capri have that, so it's really nice. Also left footed, which is really good for those quick uh, through balls down the pitch to your left winger or left uh, cam or whatever. So really nice player. I, I, I'm in love with him. It's really nice. But yeah. Now, center mids. I made a little bit, a little bit of an investment in Allen. Now, this card is unbelievable. His, his card is just nuts. I don't know what it is about him, but in-game is unbelievable. Uh, I'll show you my custom tactics at the end, but yeah, Allen, amazing, amazing card. He's paced 73, 71 shooting, 77 passing, 83 dribbling, 83 physical, 85 defending. He's basically our CDM. Uh, as you can see, he's just an amazing overall card. It's just a beautiful card. I don't know what else I can tell you. Just an amazing card. Four star skill moves as well for CDM. It's amazing. Medium high is really nice. But yeah. I couldn't be happy with him. Now, right mid, of course, we all know, is going to be our boy, Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale is just amazing in-game. Uh, in this formation, doesn't do much uh, in the attacks I've got going on for me because I play in a 4-2-3-1 where he plays right cam, so it doesn't really get involved that much, but it's really important for those through balls from Ricard Pereira to him, and then he passes across to my striker, my cam, my central cam. So, he plays a really important role in the team. Uh, but yeah, again, Gareth Bale is just an amazing card overall. As you can see, his pace is amazing. His shooting, his passing, his dribbling. Even his physical is not bad at all. 77 is a bit, is a bit on the downside, but we always bring on uh, a super sub for him. Basically, I bring on three uh, subs for my three camps. So, yeah, it's an amazing card. I mean, he's got... I didn't know he had long throwing, but he does have long throwing. He's got outside of foot shot, which is really nice. Uh, so, yeah, amazing card overall. Four star skill moves, three star with, of course, left foot. So, him me on the right with the finesse shots around the keeper with his left foot is really important. Medium, medium, it's amazing. Now, on the left, on the left side, as you can think and guess, it's Usman Dembele. As I said before, I need a five star skill move player on my team. And Demelé is a man for it. Of course, we packed him in the trade ball. He's amazing. Left-footed. Five-star skill move, five-star weak foot. I can't... There's not much to say about it, really. Everyone knows what Osman can do. He has 83 shot power, which is unbelievable. Of course, I've got a dead eye on him. Um, it is a dead eye, right? I'm pretty sure it is a dead eye. Um, but yeah, amazing card. Pace doesn't need improvement, so we got it the same 92. Shooting is a little bit improved. Passing is a little bit improved. Of course, he plays at the left cam, so it really helps. Uh, passing is unbelievable. Of course, with the boost, it's even better. Dribbling is unbelievable. His computer could have been could be a little bit higher, but from my experience, he's been clinical every chance he gets. So I'm happy with that. Physicals, I'm not really stressed about it. Again, the stamina is a bit of a problem, but we always bring him off for our for one of our subs. Now, for both of our camps, this is going to be my other CDM for partnership with Alan. And here's going to be my uh, central cam slash kind of a striker. But, uh, yeah. Now, I had this guy on my team. I want him just so he could give me chemistry. But I love this card right now. I love him. He's amazing. I don't know what it is about him, but he's amazing. Amazing in-game. As a CDM, kind of a box to box, but as a CDM, he's unbelievable. Somehow he tackles everyone, no matter who it is, no matter how strong they are. He tackles, he's always there to intercept the ball, even though he only has 77 interceptions. Of course, I've got a shadow in him, just so the pace gets better. So with the shadow, he gets a 76. Uh, so he gets to 76 pace, and his defending goes up by, I don't know, I think 10 as well, so 85 kind of. So yeah, I mean, he's got amazing. Uh, uh, passing stats, he's got amazing dribbling, the dribbling is insane for him, 
uh, defending gets a lot better with the shadow. Pace got a lot better, gets a lot better with the shadow. Uh, but yeah, I can't tell you, I can't stress enough. This card is unbelievable. I don't know what it is about him, but he's nuts. Medium, medium. So that's kind, that's kind of why he goes up and down the field. So really happy with him. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna change him for for anyone else. Also because of chemistry reasons, but even if it wasn't for chemistry reasons, I wouldn't change him. Maybe just for a hullet whenever I got the money, but we move on. This card here, uh, uh, Gabriel Jesus, really nice card. I got a hunt on him. He, he's got a three star weak foot, but it's fine. It's fine. This game, you don't really need weak foot. You just need to be careful. Don't get into the positions where you have to use his weak foot. He's right footed, so just try and get him in position to shoot with his right. Uh, but I'm pretty sure he's got outside of the foot shot, doesn't he? No, it doesn't. But still, he's amazing. Uh, 85 pace. He's got the flare, so it's re it's really nice for a cam or striker to have flare. So that's that's quite nice. But yeah, his card is amazing. As you can see, he gets a 10 plus boost overall in pace. So he basically has 95 pace. Shooting again. He gets 93 attacking positioning. 95 finishing. Uh, 86 shot power. The long shot is still the same, but it's all good. 76 is still really nice. He gets a boost in... Uh, what is that? 83? No, 82. Uh, so 92. So 92 volleys and 85 penalties doesn't really matter. But yeah, really nice card. He plays as a cam for me. As a cam. And he does really well. Basically, he kind of changes with my striker. Sometimes it's at striker, sometimes it's at cam, but overall it's an amazing card. His physicals are really nice, even his stamina is 83, but I sometimes, I usually bring him off. Just for someone with more skills, um, who have better stamina at, at that point of the game, because of course they come from the bench, so they're full in fitness. But yeah, amazing card, I can't complain about him. 4-3, four, 4-star four star skill moves, 3-star weak foot, high high. It's an amazing card, I don't know what else I can say. His computer is 81, feels like 99, he's amazing. 90 balance, 91 agility really helps with a, with a camel striker. So yeah. But now, for the big boy, of course you probably know who I'm going to pick here. Just because of heart uh, is there. But of course, the big man on this team, leading the team to victory, is Cristiano Ronaldo. <sighs> I, I, I mean, there's not much I can say about him. Of course, everyone knows... Who Ronaldo is, 5 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot. I paid 1.6 million for him. But as you can see by the, by, the, by the stats, 24 games, 46 goals, 12 assists. None of the score battles is bullshit. This is all foot champs and division rival game play. I've already played 13 games in foot champs, so 13 out of those 24 games are in foot champs. And let me tell you, most of those goals are in foot champs because he is literally the man carrying the team to victory every single time. As you can see, he has an engine because there's no need to improve his shooting. So engine is the best because it improves his passing, his pace, his dribbling. As you can see, he gets a 5 plus overall boost in pace. So he basically is at 94 pace. Uh, shooting, you don't really need to go into it. It's amazing shooting. His passing gets unbelievable with the, with the engine cam style. He gets 87 vision, um, 94 crossing, free kick accuracy. I've scored some bangers uh, with him from free kick, so you'll see that. Um, 87 show passing, uh, 82 long pass. It's just an amazing card, just an amazing card. Not 91 curve. The dribbling stats is amazing as well. He gets Ronaldo's problem... Uh, before was his balance, but I love him. I think his balance is incredible in this game. Especially with the engine, he gets 81 balance, uh, 92 agility, of course, 95 reaction, which is really key, uh, 92 ball control, again, really key, 98 dribbling, and 95 composure, and again, 80 heading accuracy. This game really needs someone who can head the ball because head is broken in this game. So if you put on the cross from Bale or from Dembele or from anyone in the field, Ronaldo is there to head the ball, and you'll see as well, he can head the ball really well. But yeah, jumping again, 95, of course, we all know Ronaldo for that. 
Uh, strength is 78. I don't know why 78. It should be a little bit higher. I feel like we're not as bad as strength in real life, but in-game is really nice. And 84 stamina, he can, he can play it till the very end of the game. Again, power free kick, uh, as you'll see. Flare, and outside the foot shot. But yeah, man, this team plays amazing. Amazing. I'm going to show you just real quick my super subs. It's usually... Um, Usually it's James Rodriguez. You might think, what the fuck are you doing? But James Rodriguez is amazing. I don't know why people... People just basically see James in see the base. And they're like, oh, I'm not going to use him. I'm telling you, man. Don't look at the pace. This card, as you'll see by the gameplay, this card is amazing. Don't don't look at the assists. Don't look at the assists. That was in squad battles. But he didn't score a goal in squad battles. That's all division rivals. And first champions goals, but James Rodriguez is amazing. As you'll see by the gameplay, I'll show you in a minute. James Rodriguez is amazing. But yeah, play outside the foot shot. Even though he only has a two star, yeah, two star weak foot, just don't put him in positions to shoot with his right foot. If he's left footed and he has a two star weak foot, don't put him on a position where he needs to shoot with his right. Make sure that he is always going from the right to the left. So he can shoot with his left foot. Um, but yeah. Amazing card. 88 shooting. 88 pace. Eight, uh, passing. 88 dribbling. Amazing. Oh, the guy. Bring him on because of his 5-star skill moves. Really key at the end of the game where when defenders are tired. Valverde just for a box-to-box -box if I want to just seal the game out. Amazing card overall. As you can see, amazing pace. Amazing dribbling. Amazing everything really. Just a really nice, strong, physical player. Carrasco. I usually bring him on for the melee because of course he's got the pace. He doesn't have the skill move, but that's why I bring on Odegaard to complement on that. Uh, amazing card. Even better shooting than Usman de Mille. Uh, really nice for super sub. But yeah, guys, that's about the team. Now I'll show you my tactics. I usually play in the 4-2-3-1 or 4-1-2-1-2. Basically, I go to formations, right? 4-2-3-1. Uh, I play Ronaldo striker. Arthur goes over there. Uh, Bale is on the right. Fuck, ACA. Please, let me put Bale on the right side. There we go. Allen is usually on the right. Arthur is on the left. But that's basically how I set my team up. In-game on the 4-2-3-1. I just go balanced. Drop that a little bit. Balanced again here. Like that. And like that. That's, that's it, guys. That's literally all I do. Really, see none of this drop-back bullshit with one, one death, one width. Nothing like that. Just simple, normal. Now, for the... 4-1-2-1-2, narrow formation, I'll show you right now, this is how I do it, Arthur goes at left, uh, center mid, Usman goes at, oh, I can't now go to that side, there we go, Usman goes at right, center mid, Allen is our CDM, Gareth Bale is our cam, and Gabriel is just our striker, I usually always have, um, as you'll see by the instructions, I set them up as getting behind, stay forward, Getting behind, stay forward. Gareth Bale's stay forward. Allen's always stay back while attacking. And now my two center mids. I always like to have a left center mid who's defensive. So I can do this. Not this. I can do this. Stay back while attacking. And then my right center mid is someone pacey. Uh, I wanted someone stronger, but it is what it is right now. Uh, Usman Dembele does a really nice job over there. Uh, I don't change him. I say I keep him as balanced attack, default. That my, also my... Left back and right back. I don't think I did this in the other formation, but both of them also stay back while attacking, and that's about it. Now for the tactics, again, same thing, balanced. I like to do this a little bit just because it's it's nice in this formation. I do that, and again, just like this. That that's literally it, guys. Really simple formation, really simple tactics. This is the team we're taking for to the third champs. I already played 13 games, so I can tell you this team is amazing. But yeah, guys. Um that's about it. Uh, I might show you a little bit of the gameplay. I'll maybe show you just one game, just the highlight. There, yeah, guys. That's that's the team. I hope you enjoyed the squad builder part of the video. And, yeah, enjoy the gameplay. So, yeah, I'll see you guys now. All right, guys. Now we're going into the gameplay. This is going to be the, the team, the first team for the first weekend lead game. As you can see, Ben Yada, Sissoko, Marshall, Salah. Coleman, Alfonso Davies, Nacho, Militão, Valverde, Ter Stegen. Wants to watch Nelson Semedo alone. 
this is a really nice thing for the first game in the weekend. But as you can see, the first goal comes in in the 45th minute. It's going to be a really short highlight. Just because the video is already too long. So I'm just going to show you the first weekend league game with the team. Uh, amazing team. This team played really well. As you can see, the skill with Ronaldo. Ronaldo was lucky to get the head in. Again, Ronaldo is, the, is amazing with adding and courtesy. So that was the first goal. Really nice goal. Uh, was all right. The build up to the goal was really nice. But yeah, the team plays really well. You'll see. This game wasn't that much, wasn't really that interesting. Uh, the point was good. Uh, as you'll see now, we're going to the 90th minute extra time. You'll see me doing my changes on my team. I bring out Gabriel Jesus for uh, James Rodriguez. And again, James Rodriguez is really good as, as a super sub. It's not the fault, but he's a creative minded player. That's what you want a creative minded player. But yeah, as you can see, I bring on Odegaard, I bring on James, and I bring on Carrasco for the pace. To sub on, uh, sub off Dembele, so I bring on Carrasco for the pace. The skill moves I bring on Odegaard and James is for a creative minded player for those passes, key passes, uh, because the defenders are tired. So if you get those key passes with a player like James, uh, your opponent is done. That's it. Yeah, uh, this game was a bit tough. My opponent was rather good, actually quite good. But um, yeah, I'm happy with how the team performed, man. I'm really enjoying this team. Uh, I've already played 13 games of third champs, and so far I'm pleased with the team. It plays really well. I'm loving the defense, the attack. Uh, I'm a little bit. Um, once I get these players like Ronaldo, uh, that I really like, I try to do the best with them. I try to do skill moves, all these fancy goals. But as you can see here, other guy gets the ball, does a skill move, the fake shot, the flare fake shot, pass to James. James is going to pass to Ronaldo. Ronaldo with a skill move again, that skill move. I tried the, the finesse shot around the keeper, didn't work. The ball falls to James again with a fake shot. Ball roll, steps to the side and finesses to the bottom left corner of the net. Easy goal. Again, James, I'm telling you guys, James is really good for a super sub. That 88 shooting, 88 passing, 88 dribbling comes in clutch. Don't be fooled by his pace. You just need to play the way James is supposed to play in this game. And this is the way it is. As you can see again, Alan passes to James, James. Passes to Ronaldo. Ronaldo with a fake shot. Flair fake shot. There's a fake shot again. Ball to the side. Steps to the side. And scores. Finesse shot. Six minutes into extra time. I score with James. Score with Ronaldo. An assist for James as well. So a goal and assist for James is a super sub. And a goal for Ronaldo. Two goals for Ronaldo actually. So you can see. My opponent's going to break script here. But this is just to show you. This was the first game in the first champs. And I didn't play with James before this like at a competitive level so i'm just showing you how ham is supposed to be played this is how score a finesse around the keeper outside of the box with his left foot easy goal you saw that the passing amazing but yeah this was the, the highlights for, of this game guys as you can see i dominated my opponent 12 shot to his five eight on target to his three 51 percent uh, possession really nice game i was happy with it uh, but yeah, guys, this is going to be the end of the epi. I, I got to thank you all for the support you've been giving me. And yeah, I hope to see you next time to the next episode. And yeah, I love you guys and peace.